great nation of Ecuador, it's not going to take you that long to come across a billboard of one Marlon Chito Vera enters competition tonight only as the most decorated finisher in UFC Bantamweight history. Yeah, man, Chito Vera is a different guy. And I was on the coach's staff opposed to him on the Ultimate Fight of Latin America. And you could not tell that he would be this, but through his hard work, his dedication, his commitment to getting better, he has made himself into one of the best band of weights in the entire world. He's a big guy for the weight class. Let's see how he fares tonight. It's amazing to think back to a time in his career when he was one and two in the UFC, fearful that he would be cut, and now he's one of the best band of weights in the world, continuing his quest for a UFC world title. This is the most decorated finisher in the illustrious history of the UFC Bantamweight division, and he all but guaranteed in our fighter meeting this week, judges will not be needed at the end of this one. Goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and right to the target. Oh, back and forth we go. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, that's a massive kick here. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Vera's cut above the eye, and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. Nice jab. Lance a good series of kicks here. Just out of range with that right hand. Vera gets hit with the overhand there. He's got some hands, man. And 
And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. His hands are down. Hike it, hike it. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. Not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Kicks, kicks, kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. 30 seconds now to go on the round. 20 seconds to go in round one. Devastating uppercut. Round two straight ahead. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Barra's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? You ready? Good. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging. But down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Oh, how clean is that jab by Marlon Vero? And that one certainly found the target. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He's able to slip the left there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Let's work, guys. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? What? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force in his opponent. It's starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Oh, he missed with the hook there. We thought he might go back to it. He did. Unable to land. Good work, guys. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Lands a strike there. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Ten seconds to go in the round. Round three next. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. Yeah. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable. 
but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, Ready, make some sort of adjustment Ready. to try to change the tide of this fight. Third round underway. Big punch lands through the middle. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. With conviction to the body. Back to the jab now, no good. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Slip that offering. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but there it is again. Look at that. Right on the button. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Now going upstairs with the left hook. 15 seconds. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's all the I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. What a round it was for him, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed Ready that fight. big punch that put his Ready. opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time, just like that, he will get the victory. While turning defense to offense here, blocks the strike and then counters with a straight punch. Nice work there by Cheeto. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Effective use of the jab there by Marlon Vera. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He's got good leg kicks, there it is.
Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Both guys appeared to land there. Visibly limping here. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasphemy kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Leg kick checked effectively there by Marlon Vera. Good fight here, under two to go. Oh! Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to get Tags him with the left. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Unable to land the head kick. Oh! Back to his feet. Under a minute to go in round four. Just missed with the leg kick. Final seconds of the round. Oh. I mean, how about oh. those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? You ready to fight? Ready. Do we it. have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, nice job to land the front kick there. Oh, flying knee right to the melon. Massive punch to land. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, I think I can smell the heard him. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Beautiful strike there. I mean, that's his game, though. But you think the punches are coming. He throws kicks, and then he lands his beautiful flying knee right up the middle. Huge block there. Man, the bruising on that calf is out of control. I need to do some calf raises next week, build up some muscle. My I mean, God. you're taking it by osmosis. You're not even getting kicked. You're like, man, this hurts so bad to even watch. Tremendous game plan by this guy. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big left hook there. Slips to avoid the right. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, no problem getting in. He's hurt really bad.
Rivera's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. It's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. of this fight. Vera's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, that looks tight. Oh, out action right through the final minute. Hey, Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, Ladies the official and decision is now in. Rounds, here is Bruce Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Warrior. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.